Melissa's Produce sent me three pounds of these Potato Peewee Ruby Gold Creamers. These potatoes are the perfect potatoes to use for mashed potatoes. Why does everybody stress out over mashed potatoes? They're so simple to make. What you do is you boil these potatoes until they are tender, like this. We can smash them with your hand. This is a hot potato and I have chef hands and I can do that. You basically, probably about 15, 20 minutes in some salt, salted water, um, boil them and get them to be tender. I like to add a little bit of garlic to my mashed potatoes. So I have some poached garlic here. Now this is three pounds of potatoes. So this is gonna feed a pretty nice size group for the holidays. I put in probably 20, 25 cloves of garlic and then two spoonfuls of the oil that I poached the garlic in. No stress guys, some room temperature milk, probably about, I don't know, exactly three cups two to three cups, I'll get you that proper measurement. And then a nice couple of fingers, pinches of salt, little pepper to coat. You notice I eyeball everything, nothing wrong with that. Some green onion, again, no stress in my mess. And basically, I've got these soft potatoes, which I then began to, now you can use a potato masher, Guess what? I don't know where mine is today, but you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to use this whisk, which I always use. And you basically begin to smash these potatoes just like so. So the beauty of using these little peewee gold uh, potatoes is that clearly they're going to cook faster than normal. They are, when they're cooked, they're so buttery. So all I did, guys, was I used my whisk and I just smashed the potatoes down and I leave the skins on. And you know what's great? It's okay if some of the potatoes are actually whole because when you give someone a big scoop of mashed potatoes and maybe there's a couple of these little peewee guys in their hole, what a nice little surprise that is, right? And it doesn't have to be entirely mashed and you can leave the skins on. I prefer them that way. So look how creamy and delicious these mashed potatoes are. They're beautiful. Whatever you do, do not overwork the potatoes. I think most people do. Make sure that your milk or your stock that you add to the potatoes is at least at room temperature, if not warm. Just don't make it scalding hot. And then be good to your potatoes um, and don't over overwork them, just like you and your friends. You should not be overworked. Um, these potatoes from Melissa's are my little buddies and they make the perfect mashed potatoes. Happy holidays.